Interviews are a journalist's primary source. It's the best way for a journalist to gather information and check the facts of their story. What are some things that a journalist has to keep in mind when doing an interview? I can't emphasize enough how important it is to actually research. And people think, oh, I'm just going to go in and start talking. And, you know, that's nice. And, you know, you might be bubbly and look great on camera. But your interview will not be as deep or informative unless you really have, have done some research. Do your homework. Do some background research before interviewing someone. It's really important to have a base of knowledge to start from. From there, you can definitely fill in the blanks and kind of flesh out more details. You want to know the issue that you're writing about and the potential pros and cons of that issue. And you also want to know a little bit about your interview subject. So, like if you're interviewing the new CEO of a company, you'll want to know that the company he led last filed for bankruptcy the week after he left. <laughs> so you'll want to know those things so you can uh, do an informed interview and bring the readers the most relevant information. I would suggest bringing a tape recorder so you can make sure that you're quoting the person accurately. I am one of those people, I hate tape recorders. I never use them because they always break. Um, figure out a system that works for you and that you can trust so that if you ever come across the worst situation where someone's accusing you of not being fair, of not quoting them properly, that you have the information to back them up. We all want to get out there and get the big stories. The big stories will happen. Make sure that you're prepared to do it and make sure that the people that you need to talk to think that you're worth talking to when they happen. Call ahead and arrange the interview and make sure you're on time. Be professional, be polite, be courteous, be relaxed. They are probably more nervous than you are. Be polite and professional and courteous. I mean, you're representing your organization and you want to, you know, be professional about it. No one owes you an interview, so you want to make sure you respect that person's time and the fact that they're giving you the interview. That doesn't mean not asking tough questions, but it just means, you know, being professional about it and being respectful that they're granting you the interview. Make sure you get their name, proper spelling, their job title, and make sure you have it right. Make sure you're interviewing the person that has the information that you need for the story you're writing. If you're doing a feature story on the person, be sure you meet them for the interview in a place that will help you understand what you're there to talk to them about. For example, if you're interviewing a carpenter, don't meet him at a coffee shop, okay? Meet him at a building site so you can watch him work. So maybe you follow them around a little bit after the interview as they go through their busy day. Be sure to ask background questions about them. Don't just stick to the exact things that you need for your story. Feel free to ask them a little bit about themselves, their background, their family, where they live, because it'll ease up the interview and make it feel more relaxed. And you may learn something that really helps your story, too. Um, when people relax is when they tend to kind of ease up and, and tell you more interesting things. I like to make a list of 10 questions or so. You never quite know where an interview is going to go, but it'll help you have an easier conversation with them. Keep an open mind. You never know what you're going to find when you go to a scene or go to interview someone um, and who you're going to meet. And I think being open to the idea that it could change based on whatever you're covering is a good idea. Being a journalist is kind of like being a, a lawyer or an attorney. And you have to think fast on your feet. During the course of an interview, you don't know what you're going to hear. And a lot of times, what you hear will be something different from where you thought you were going to go. And if you aren't prepared to deal with the new thing you hear, you're going to lose focus on the reason why you were supposed to do the interview in the first place. And so the 10 questions helps to keep you focused, but at the same time gives you latitude and freedom to pursue the new information should you hear any new information. Because I guarantee you, Every interview you do, you're going to hear something you didn't anticipate. Be willing to follow wherever this new passive information might go. You never know where it's going to go. It might get a better story. It might get a different story. It might lead you back to the reason why you're there in the first place. But if you don't pursue the new line of information, you'll never know. The worst question is the one that's never asked. The worst question is the one that's never asked. The art of the interview might be the most important tool in a journalist's toolbox. Interviewing is something you need to practice before you can be good at it. 
The next time you want to find out information about a topic, instead of going on the internet to look it up, try taking a little time to find and interview an expert about it. You'll probably be surprised at how much information you can find out just by asking a few questions.